What's going on YouTube? It's been a minute. It's been a while, but I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I was down bad, thinking about a lot of different things, and this is honestly why I'm making this video. Let me start off by saying this. I am no better than you. I'm not perfect. I'm no preacher. But at the end of the day, I know one thing, man. Jesus is the only light of this world. <laughs> Everything else is just BS. You can try to save yourself. You can try to go to materialistic things or drugs, alcohol, women, whatever the case may be. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing will fulfill you. As soon as you're done smoking, you're going to be sober again. Still just as depressed, still just as angry, still just as sad, still just as mad that you were before you even put the fucking joint in your mouth. My bad. <laughs> My bad. But, uh... Real talk, man. See what I mean? I'm growing just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> this world needs Jesus. I need Jesus. Everybody in this planet needs Jesus. Because if you haven't noticed already, the world is just getting darker and darker and darker by the second. And he's coming back soon. I'm not on this video trying to scare nobody. But at the end of the day, bro, you need to get right with God. Not because the world could potentially end at any moment. But because at the end of the day, everybody needs guidance. Because I know I do. And if you say that you don't, then you're a liar. <laughs> there is no standard of morality without Christ. And as facts. There is no good without Christ facts you need to understand that we're in a spiritual warfare all these people like Lil Nas X who are pushing you know the emasculation of men all these people who are pushing this you know agenda of homosexuality the confusion in the household gender dysphoria all these people <laughs> are literally rooted in satanic practices and that's facts. It's not a coincidence that the music industry is filled, with, is filled with Satanists. It's not a coincidence. Why am I saying all this? I'm saying all this because they're throwing this stuff right in your face. Forgive me, I almost cussed again. They're throwing it right in your face. It couldn't be more obvious that there is a spiritual warfare going on and that it, we are living in the end times more than now. It couldn't be more obvious. They're literally throwing it in your face. But yet, people still have the nerve to say that, oh, God isn't real. Oh, they're just playing around. Oh, he's just, he's just, you know, making a joke. Uh, like, how is putting your blood in a shoe a joke? How is that mocking Christians? And, like, people are just okay with that. Like, oh, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a game. He's just trying to you know, arouse people like, no, bro. Like there's an agenda behind it. Everything is an agenda. Me speaking to you in this video is an agenda <laughs> because I'm trying to get you on the right path. Because here's the thing, man, I've gone through so much stuff in my life. And the only thing that has stood firm is Jesus Christ, man. And that's all I can say. The only thing that has kept me sane that hasn't made me kill somebody it's Jesus, man. I've gone through so much stuff in my life. I don't even understand how I'm still like just a regular person. The shit that I've seen in my life has literally been enough to make me go insane. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's just the way it is. I've been through hell and I'm still going through it. And God is the only thing that has kept me with a level head. Do I understand everything that he does? No. Do I understand why he allowed me to go through the things that I had to go through? No. And I'm not going to sit here and act like everything is all fine and dandy either. I'm in a, I'm in a season of wilderness, man. If I'm going to be completely honest. But at the end of the day, I got to make it happen. And I got to trust and have faith that just like in Jeremiah 29, 11, that God has a plan for me to prosper me and not to harm me. Because it's facts, bro. As much as I don't like to admit it, the devil validates God's existence in my eyes. Because there is no devil without God. There is no Satan without God. 
And that's the beauty of it. It's because at the end of the day, we have the victory at the end. Satan has no power over you. The only thing that he can do is sit around and just taunt you and make you think that he's more powerful than what he actually is. He has no bite. And that's just what it is. I'm not scared of any of this stuff. I'm not scared of this new world order that's developing. I'm not scared of any of that stuff, man. Because God is more powerful than all of this. And that's just what's honestly giving me peace, man. Is because even in my current struggles, I literally just lost my grandparents and my dad in a time span of a couple of days. I'm never going to be able to have a relationship with my dad the way I wanted it to. That stuff crushed me, man. <laughs> But yet I'm still over here recording this video, still over here working a job, still over here pursuing my dreams, still over here posting this YouTube video because I care. Because there's a greater purpose for what I'm going through than what I can even see. And that's just what I gotta believe. That's just what you have to believe. Because you got a choice to make, man. You either believe God or you believe the world. You're either a friend of God and an enemy of the world, or you're an enemy of God and a friend of the world. That's why I don't fit in. Use the right That's two lanes to take exit in. 38 to merge onto I-580 East towards Stockton. You're speaking up for the truth. You're going against the mainstream media. That means that you're on the right path, more likely than not. Almost everything in mainstream media is against God, homosexuality, weakness in men, gender dysphoria, acting like a hoe, violence, this, that, and the third. And what you have to realize is, is there's a reason why those people are famous. There's a reason why those people are exalted in the world's eyes. There's a reason why. The reason is, is because they are demonic and the devil runs this world. That's what you have to realize, bro. But you know, your, your favorite YouTubers aren't gonna talk about this because they don't wanna get canceled. They're scared to stand up for the truth themselves. Quite frankly, I just don't care. I'm not listening to ideologies that are not stead fir that are not firm and steady and rooted in Christ. Because Christ is the only truth in this world, and that's just the facts. That's just the facts. Everything that you need to know about this life is in the Bible. I don't understand everything, and I don't know why this world is the way it is, but at the end of the day, we're not the ones who created it. So we don't even have to worry about that. My pastor literally told me the realest stuff, man, at my dad's funeral. She said, you know what? You don't need to understand everything and everything isn't for you to understand. Remember that. And I'm so thankful for her life, man, because I really needed to hear that. Because you see, like so many times we get caught up in like, man, why? Like, I can't understand this. Why is it like this? Why is this like this? Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Like, bro, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is finding a solution to your issues. That's all that matters. And trusting in the one who can actually solve your issues. Bro, you can't handle everything that comes at you in this life. There are certain things that are ha that will happen in your life that will force you to depend on God. And that's just how it's designed. We're not designed to live on our own accordance, bro. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. And you have to realize that. You're not meant to understand everything. You're not gonna understand it. That's just the way that this life is designed. We're supposed to depend on God. If we figured it out and we understood everything, then we wouldn't need God. And obviously not everyone understands everything. So that's why we need God. And that's just the way he designed it. We're supposed to be walking with him daily. I'm at the point in my life, man, where it's like, I have no choice but to go to God. And maybe that's just how it had to be because I was so hard headed in the past. I'm in a season like 
the Israelites when they were taken into the wilderness. I have to ask God for manna every single day. And if you don't understand that, you just don't understand that. Every single day is a struggle for my mental health and for my physical health, bro. I literally don't even have the energy to get up. I'm literally fighting sickness right now. I can feel it in my body, bro. Like everything is coming against me. But at the end of the day, I'm just thanking God that I'm still alive. Yesterday was September 3rd and that was an even harder day than today. And guess what? It's September 4th and I'm still here. Still here. Yes, sir. Still smiling. Still in my nice whip. You know what I'm saying? I got food to eat. <laughs> I'm chilling, dog. Oh, man. I'm going to end it off on this one, man. Worry about the things of today, for tomorrow has enough troubles of its own. If that isn't the realest thing you ain't ever heard, you don't have real ears. <laughs> real talk. And that's straight biblical, bro. You got to understand that you have to walk this life at a day-to-day -day basis. And you have to thank God for the little things that you have, bro. Because I'm struggling right now, but I'm still thankful that I have a place to lay my head. Even if I'm sleeping on the floor, I still have a place to lay my head. I still have food to eat. Even if sometimes I got to eat the same thing day in and day out. Drinking protein shakes just to feel full. It don't even matter. Because I'm still good. God's got me. And he's got you too. Peace.